What are you doing, dude? Oh, we're gonna fluffy that thing in. Ooh, I can't wait to eat you, dude. It's all about tasty treats, right? Everybody's gonna eat a lot of food today. I know, I know. We got some live mealworms. <laughs> we got a big old plate for my rhinos. Oh, <laughs> almost. I won't lock with another finger. And so on today's menu, we got grapes, apples, and some little baby bunnies. Let's go, Hand. Such a great bird, dude. He did awesome yesterday. We only bit two people. <gasps> Look at that. I'm thankful for that, guys. Good morning, you crazy, crazy birds. Hey, hey get out of here. Don't shoot by me. Howdy do, everybody. Welcome to the channel. It is your boy, Tyler Nolan. You know the drill. How do you freaking do? Just woke up, can't really think straight. Yesterday was a really long day. Dude, Ryder's birthday yesterday. So crazy, dude. Being a dad this whole last year is just, this is a mind altering, life changing ordeal, dude. It's freaking crazy. And birthday parties will never be the same, honestly. I'm so used to just going to birthday parties and not like throwing. I mean, yeah, I'm throwing birthday parties, like surprise parties for friends and stuff, but having like, Throwing your own child's party is just a whole different sense of responsibility. Will you guys shut up? I'm trying to talk. But yeah, you know, being the one actually responsible for your kid's great day is a lot. And holy crap, dude, I had no idea how much work it was, but it was such a great time. All our friends came out. Ryder had an absolute blast. We got like a bird smash cake for her that she absolutely loves. We even brought Prince to the party for everybody to hang out with, dude. It was just such an absolutely great time. Now, gotta get unpacked. And all that. I started unpacking yesterday, but holy crap, there's so much stuff to do over here. Hello, big birds. Hello, how are you guys? Good morning, how are you? That is not what today's video is about. I'm thinking about Actually, I'm not thinking about, I'm doing about, okay? We're actually doing it. I'm no longer thinking about it. I started a YouTube channel. Literally made the profile for it the other night. I have to finish putting like the graphics on it and this, that, and the other thing. There might be a picture of Gianna and the baby on it right now. I don't exactly know. But if you go look up Riders Ranch on YouTube, I started a YouTube channel for the family. We're gonna do family stuff on there. I'm gonna do DIY building things. Maybe even, comment down below guys, DIY house renovations and stuff. Everything that we build over here, we do over here, I'm gonna try to figure out how to do it. Some stuff I know how to do myself, some stuff that I'm gonna have to learn how to do. Other stuff, hey, maybe some carpenters, some uh, construction guys, you guys wanna do some collabs, you watch the channel, wanna do some cross promoting. Holler at your boy, let me know if that's what that channel is gonna be for. Maybe even some gun stuff, you know? Do some shooting stuff. Riders Ranch channel, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Family stuff, house stuff, ranch stuff, gun stuff. I feel like it all falls under the same category. It'll be perfect. This channel will stay more animals, snakes, birds, stuff like that. Riders Ranch, whole new ball game, baby. So go do some little detective work on here on YouTube. Look up Riders Ranch hit that subscribe button just be patient because we got a whole lot of stuff coming so we got some things we just have to take care of today just do some general ranch stuff I really need to start ordering all my feed from Aaron and Hillary over at Wild Cargo it's placed by my house so I can cut down on some costs because ordering it straight from Missouri is a little bit pricey Ugh. and then they come in these big ass stupid boxes I gotta I gotta waste cardboard all the time I hate being so wasteful, ordering things online, you get all this cardboard just stacks up and you gotta throw away, it's just a, it's a huge waste. So the whole point of this video is for thankfulness, guys. It's Thanksgiving, dude. It's crazy. Last Thanksgiving, I had like a little six day old baby. This year, she's over a year old now, it's crazy. It's so wild to me. So much has changed. Got a million more birds. Man, it is wild over there. So loud. It's funny, someone commented on one of my videos the other day. They were like, oh man, I don't think I can watch your videos anymore, dog. 
He was like, it's just, those birds are just too annoying and too loud. I can't take it anymore. Yo, try living here. Oh, I want to run away sometime. We got some live mealworms. My buddy Brian has been breeding colonies of these things and dropping them out of the shop for me. So Brian, if you're watching this video, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to take these guys and I'm going to add it to the small chicken feed. Shut up! That way they have a nice little tasty treat today. And Thanksgiving, it's all about tasty treats, right? Everybody's going to eat a lot of food today. I know I am, even though I'm going on a diet today. No more sugar. I'm going to try to lay low on the caffeine. It's going to be my new, like, not a New Year's resolution, my Thanksgiving resolution. I'm taking all the things that I'm thankful for. And I, I got to be healthier. Not for, just for me, but for my family, for my daughter, for all that stuff. I have some, I have some bad habits that you guys don't know about. I guess you probably do know about, you know? Just, just stupid things, like coffee every day. Like going to Starbucks every single day. Yeah, sure, it's great, whatever. I'm thankful that I can afford it, whatever. It's expensive. Number two, it's really bad for you. The stuff that they put in those drinks, there's so much sugar in them. I'm just trying to be more, be more thankful about my position in life and just take it more seriously so that way I can live forever. I never really cared about it until recently. Now that I'm a dad, dude, being, being a reckless kid growing up and all this stuff, you know what I mean? Living in Florida, doing <laughs> wrestling gators and catching snakes and doing all this crazy stuff that we grew up doing down here. You know, it's awesome. And obviously I still love doing it. I'm still gonna continue to do it, but just more in like a safer manner. Cause now I actually really care to live for a long time. So I just need to, I need to start working out again, start running again, just being healthy again, getting fit again, lose this stupid dad bod, you know? It's time to kick it in gear, guys. All these tiny little chickens. There is more chickens. Let's go. Get, excuse me, you stay inside there. I'm trying to give you food. Hold on, I gotta trick them. Sometimes they come flying out of here. And I got Richard, the freaking bird killer, right there. So we gotta be, gotta be real careful. People keep asking about updates on the rats. I'll give you a quick rat update. So I still got a million of them. Gotta go catch that freaking peacock for Richard does. Oh my goodness, little dude. This is a turkey. I don't know why I just said peacock. He reminds me of Calvin. This little peacock that we had a while ago and didn't make it. So the rat problem. Let me show you what we got going on. I made this contraption over here. And what I'm doing is I am continuing to bait this thing all the time. So several, several nights. This is the trap right here. It has a screw in it so it can't be freaking activated. But look, I gotta fix this now because I guess some food dropped to the bottom. Some rats got stuck in here, and then look what they did. This is overnight. They ate a hole in the bottom of the trash can and escaped. How wild is that, dude? So now I gotta fix that and uh, start over again. Just keep baiting this thing so that way they get used to this, because rats are, they're so freaking smart, guys. Like as soon as there's something new in their area or their environment, they analyze it first, like very, very well. They go all around it, they look at it, they play with it, they bite it, they do little weird things, they analyze things. They're insanely smart and really hard to catch. It's been it's been an absolute nightmare. Chandler was over here the other night, we were hanging out, riding e-bikes around the neighborhood, which is so much fun. That new that new e-scooter that I got. Woo! so nice and I was riding my Hobsco bike dude that thing is primo speaking of that Hobsco bike there's actually a Black Friday sale it's Thanksgiving week guys Black Friday sales go look out for them you want an e-bike go down below I'll put all my Hobsco information go save yourself some money with Black Friday but anyways Chandler was over here we we're hanging out riding bikes he got to see firsthand how many rats were in the trees at night and all in the bird cages and dude even Ch Chandler was like bro He's like, you have a serious problem. Not even kidding, just in one view, there was maybe 50 rats, it was crazy. Hey, Blue, oh, dude, I'm eating you. That, that's it. I wasn't gonna eat you for Thanksgiving. I was just gonna make it a joke, but we're killing you today. Leave her alone. Bro, look at that. Yo, what are you doing, dirt dog? That's it. I'm catching you up at the end of this video. We're doing a catch and cook Blue video. It's gonna be hard catching you. But I'm pretty fast, dude. Would you get off of her? Stop it! Get off of her! Stop! Stop! What? Don't don't be mad. I'm trying to help you out. No. Blue! Get out of here! Stop it! Speaking of turkeys, actually, let's go over and see 
how Gobbles is doing. So, last update you guys got with Gobbles. Gobbles laid a bunch of eggs. Some chickens laid some eggs in the same nest. Gobbles took it on herself to be the mom and lay on the eggs. The dogs got out, came over here. They ate all the freaking eggs. So Gobbles was all sad. Gianna took the eggs, replaced it with more eggs. So now hopefully Gobbles is still sitting on those eggs and guarding them. The dogs we've been really keeping on top of, even though Hannibal might gotta go, guys. Hannibal is just, He's causing, he's causing too much ruckus over here. Hannibal's getting really aggressive with these dogs. So the older that he gets, the more food aggressive he gets, and he's getting pretty dangerous, and I don't want him hurting them more than he already has. So let's see what we got going on here. Gobbles, <gasps> there you are. Hello, Gobbles. How are you? Hey, Gobbles. You okay? You okay? Let me see your eggs. Still got a bunch of eggs under there. Oh yeah, see, she's got like a silky egg. That might be from a, uh, yeah, we got some silkies under there. We got a Rhode Island red egg. That's probably an Easter egg or that blue one right there. Oh, uh, you're being a good mommy still. Thank you so much. Richard, you get out of there. She has all permission to beat your butt, dude. Get off, get out of there, stupid. Stay away, Richard. We're gonna be eating you for Thanksgiving too. You're gonna be a side. You're not even gonna feed that many people. Blue? You chill, dog. I know it's Thanksgiving. All right? You're gonna be real tasty. Look how fluffy that thing is. Ooh, I can't wait to eat you, dude. Mm. Next up on our animals to feed list. It's Thanksgiving, everybody gotta eat, man. So we gotta feed these tortoises. Aldabras are still out here, but all the other tortoises, we gotta move into the shed for a minute because they keep escaping. These sulcatas have been relentless lately I'm trying to save up some money right now so I could redo this whole enclosure over here or redo the whole tortoise enclosure not even redo it move it and make a whole new one my buddy Lewis is building an apartment complex in Boca right now and he's ending it towards the end of this month so hopefully in the next few days all the old cinder blocks or all the not used cinder blocks that Lewis has left over He's gonna bring them over by the truckload, and we're gonna do like Will Nace does. I don't know if you guys have seen Will Nace's uh, tortoise enclosure, it's still in progress also, but he's building it with cinder box. I was just there yesterday for his son's birthday party who also turned a year old, and I think I got some really good ideas from him. And we're going concrete, bro. That way these things cannot escape. Ever. Time to feed the tortoises. I accidentally messed up on the Missouri order and I bought this like, it's called LS tortoise diet. It's like the long strain, whatever. I think it's the same stuff, it just looks a little bit different. So I'm gonna give a bunch to the Al Dabbies. Look, Harriet's running away right now. Hey, come over here, sweetheart. Look, I got food for you right here. Look, Harriet, food for you. Got all the red foot tortoises in here. There's two Al Dabras, three red foots. Everybody's doing great. Go check on the sulcatas. These sulcatas keep escaping. So I have them in here just temporarily for their own safety so I don't lose them. Big ol' Ruth is on the other side because she's too big to be with the other ones. All right, quick break, guys. I want to show you a couple products really quick. That Olight has sent me. Whew, look at this. Lantern slash stereo. That is pretty cool. Olight is the company that I'm always promoting on here. They send me all the flashlights for my guns. They send me other lights that I have that I use for the property, like that crazy bright green one. I forget what it's called, but I'll put the product links down below for you guys. Dude, look at this. I gotta charge this bad boy up before I can use it though. But dude, that thing is really sick. And the whole point of doing this is Olight is having a crazy Black Friday sale that you guys should not miss out on. Look at this. Another new flashlight. Thank you guys. 4,600 lumens. Holy crap. That thing is freaking crazy. I'm probably going to have to charge this guy up too. But guys, nothing but quality products. I'll show you my big flashlight here in just a second. But look at that. Oh, what? And it's got a clip on it. So sick. 4,600 lumens. That is wild. I'll show you how bright my big light is quality products so this is the marauder mini this is my favorite freaking flashlight and it's not even charged all the way look i still have still got a couple more bars to go watch how freaking bright this thing is look i see gianna out there watch Whew. look at that 
Link down below, guys. Black Friday sale. And the link is down below, guys. Black Friday sale. We'll go get one. We got a big old plate for my rhinos. Hey, dude. You hungry, huh? Come eat some food. Got some grapes. Got some lettuce. This tortoise chow that hopefully they're gonna eat. Come on, Khaleesi. Come on, baby. Let's go. We're gonna be doing a big enclosure for these guys soon too. We're gonna move the whole thing completely. This is just temporary, just to have them back here away from everything. Hey, dude, do not try to bite me. That was real close, dude. Do not try to bite me. Relax yourself. Eat your food, you crazy man. Oh, God, that was fast. You see that? <laughs> almost, almost lost another finger. Can't afford that right now. Well, anyways, we're gonna be moving this whole enclosure to the front of my property over by the front gate. I'm gonna build a nice big enclosure on the side of my driveway so that way when you're driving through you got bruce on the right you got the rhinos on the left you know what i mean it'll be like i'll get some speakers by the front gate we'll play jurassic park music it'll be sick who's down all right now we're gonna give these guys some food see we got rat poop in these bowls guys it's not freaking good gotta get them cleaned up that's not good rat poop in your bowls got bacteria and all sorts of shit from these rats it is not good we gotta get rid of this rat problem bro I absolutely hate it. I give them some food and then I'm gonna grab their waters later and give them some water when Gianna gets back over here. Let's do the food, food part first. Woo! And then look at this. We got two more feathers. I've been collecting a lot of feathers, guys. And I'm doing something really cool. I don't know if I wanna make something and raffle it off for you guys or if I wanna keep it for my house. I'm gonna decide that when we're done, but two more feathers. And we got Rio. Rio's got a couple feathers in here too that I'll get in a bit. Are you gonna come step up on me? Wanna come step up? Step up. Come on, Rio. <gasps> Look at that. Oh! I'm thankful for that, guys. That's awesome. I'll give you a nice treat for being such a good gentleman. There you go. You can go back on your perch. Slowly but surely, Rio's warming up. Hola, Rio. Bueno. Oh. Gracias for the peanut. I gotta learn better Spanish, guys, because you only speak Spanish. We're getting there, though. Baby steps. And then we got two beautiful feathers from Rio as well. And oh my god, it sounds like Travis is next door at Bill's house. I gotta go get that stupid dog. Travis! Prince, my sweet tiny man. Here you go. Let's give you something. What would you like? Do I have any nuts or anything that you would? Oh, here's a peanut right here. There you go, sir. There we go. Give you a little bit in your full right here. Give you a bunch of food in your big bowl. Such a great bird, dude. He did awesome yesterday. Only bit two people. Oh, and then we got little Stevie. Stevie is one of Gianna's rescue parents. Hello, cute man. There you go. There's some food for you. He's doing great, man. Gianna rotates all the birds. So we have uh, we have two different bird perches in the house. We got a big one and a small one. And then Gianna will rotate out either Prince or Willie, which is the other cockatoo, the special needs cockatoo. She favors Willie though now, because he, he's special needs, he's super sweet to her, yeah, yeah, whatever. Prince is my boy, w Willie is Gianna's. And then we got Stevie too, which she uh, rotates. Gianna loves Stevie. Stevie can really care less about me. He doesn't like when I try to get him to step up on me. He's really bonded to Gianna, so I just let Gianna do all the work. But regardless, cute little bird. You are a handsome man, Stevie. Let's go put these feathers away somewhere safe. Oh, time to feed my chaka man. Hello, little chaka. Had to watch Land of the Lost. I've probably seen Land of the Lost a thousand times. We had to watch it again the other night. Me and Gianna were just hanging out watching Land of the Lost. It was hilarious, especially having our own little chaka now. The movie was even funnier, dude. Cause he, his personality, he's such a chaka dude. It's so freaking funny. Right, my crazy little man. Hey, excuse me. I gotta get you your food. Don't be climbing trees and running away from me, dog. Get over here. Come here, you crazy creature. You are crazy. You're crazy. I have to get your food bowl and give you food, you crazy, crazy cute man. Mm. Oh, so freaking cute. Listen to that noise. It's so wild. All right, let me grab your bowl. Take your bowl. Go get you some food. Maybe I'll make him chase me. Comment down below. You guys want him to chase me? Let's go. And so on today's menu, we got grapes, apples, and some little baby fuzzies for our little quad of Monday. Definitely something to be thankful for. Let's see make them cheat. Let's see what Chaka does today. Ready? Look at this. Look, crazy. Ready? Let's go, Chaka! Chaki, let's go! Let's go, Chaki! Let's go! Let's 
I do that every day with them and it does not get old ever. It's the funniest freaking thing ever. I love this animal, guys. Dude, I was very indifferent at first when we first got him because he ended up, Gianna wanted him so much. That was the whole reason why we got him. Gianna begged me for him. But now, Gianna could care less about him. And he's my favorite. I'm the only one that pleases him every single day. He's my, he's my little man, bro. I love him. It's hot outside too right now. So I didn't even bother thawing out these fuzzies. They're frozen. So that way it'll help cool them down a little bit. Almost like a little a little frozen rodent treat. He's so freaking cute, right? Look at that. He's got his grapes. He freaking loves grapes, dude. Grapes, apples, pineapples, dude. Loves all that stuff. Let's go get him back. What else do we gotta feed today, dude? Everybody gotta eat, dog. Hey, Gator. Hey, dog. Yo. What's up, Gator? Come get some food, dog. Come get some food, dog. Yo, what's up? Check it out. Yo, check it, check it. Yum, yum, yum. Now today we're just giving the alligator some croc chow. No mice today. I like to switch it up. Just gave him a whole bunch of shrimp the other day. So I like to, uh, I rotate everything. I give him chicks. I give him rats. I give him croc chow. I give him fish. I give him shrimp. I always switch it up so that way they have a nice variety in their diet and they grow big and strong. And most importantly, they get all the nutrients that they need. Everybody over here is doing good. Brady! Get down, dude, and all these little girl goats. Hey, excuse me, Miss Boots, Florida, Remington, you're the sweetheart. Gotta watch out for them horns, though. They're getting freaking scary, bro. She gets excited and does that thing with her horns. It is freaking scary, bro. I do not want to get hit with one of them things. Here you go. Eat, eat, eat. Got to, uh, that's another thing we're working on next. I ordered a bunch of materials. We're gonna do like a lean-to on the corner up here. And we're gonna have different elevations of little feeding spots. It's a little bit on the dangerous side right now with all of them eating out of the same bucket right now. God forbid one of them pokes each other in the eye with one of those horns or Brady gets fucking Remington in the eye with a horn or something like that. Not good, gotta be careful. So we're gonna handle that situation this week. Leave my emus alone! Yo, quit, you see this? Dude, you see that? Freaking Yo, what the hell are you doing, bro? You better act right. I'll straight up, I'll feed you to the homeless dog. We'll just go drop her off side of the road. People gotta eat today. Look at that, we got the baby, baby albino. She was up top, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put those fuzzies up there for her. She's not gonna try to feed her by hand because I don't wanna start her too much. Bing bada boom, feed the rest of these guys. Falling down the line. We gotta clean out this freaking, all these waters gotta be clean, but we'll do that after this video is done. Back to being super hot. Hot means sun, sun means algae. I gotta keep on these freaking waters, man. Literally takes two days for these freaking waters to turn green. Maple, would you like a hopper, my love? There you go. Don't bite my hand, please. Ah, don't bite my hand. There you go. Give you, let's see, one, two, three. We'll give you uh, another one right there for you. Actually, no, we'll give you three, and we'll give Onyx three also. We've got six left, three and three, perfect. There we go, Onyx, get that food, sir. Oh man, two at a time? What a mouthful, bro, don't try to bite me. You got food right there. Freaking dinosaur. And that is it, my friends. Got everybody nice and fed on this beautiful, Thanksgiving day. Got a lot to be thankful for, guys. A whole, whole lot. The channel's doing great. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'm so freaking thankful that this is what I get to do for a living, guys. Like, obviously, I own a tattoo shop and I tattoo, but dude, doing this and just sharing my life with you guys and making these videos and these vlogs and stuff and just going on this whole experience with you guys is just, it's awesome. And I, I love it, man. And I, I couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity that the world has given me, you know. I didn't have the easiest childhood and not trying to get any pity or nothing, you know. Everybody's got their hardships. I'm sure all of you guys out there, every, everybody's, everybody's battling their battles, you know what I mean? 
So be nice to people, you know, be friendly to people. You don't know what every, you don't know what other people are going through. Even even people that you look up to online, like us, you know what I mean? And, uh, and other people, I look up to a lot of other people online, the channels that I follow. And uh, life's not all what it looks like on camera. You guys get to see the good stuff. This is like, this is the highlight reel, as I like to say, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm just like you guys. You know, I'm just a regular dude who's got animals, trying to make a living to provide for my family, make sure that my daughter has a great future, my girl's got a great future, you know? Me, you know, make sure that, make sure all my animals have good futures. Like, it's a lot of freaking work. And it takes a toll on you mentally. You gotta be you gotta be strong, especially with the internet. You always got naysayers and haters. You just gotta kinda turn your nose to it. But don't even let it bother you guys. The only thing that really matters is you being happy. You guys gotta be happy before you can make anybody else happy. I gotta be happy with myself before I could be that to my girls. My girls could be happy because if I don't love myself, how am I gonna love them? You know what I mean? It's just how it goes, dude. Gotta take care of yourself. This is a new leaf. My daughter's a year old now. I have a lot to be thankful for. I have a lot to live for. So, I really need to be safer. I need to be healthier. I need to work harder. That's my Thanksgiving resolution. Not my not my New Year's resolution. That's, that's too basic, you know what I mean? I'm starting now. Why wait till New Year's to start doing new stuff? When you can just do it right now. There's no need to wait, guys. If you're sitting there telling yourself, oh, I'm waiting for this to do this, or I'm waiting for this to happen to do that, no. Do it now, stop making excuses. The time is now, okay? Quit waiting. Get off your ass, work hard, make things happen. Take the steps that you need to step. Sometimes those steps suck, they're scary. You have to sacrifice things, you gotta get rid of things. Even people in your life that you love, you gotta get rid of them sometimes if they're, if they're, if they're holding you back, you know? I'm not eating the turkey. So uh, everybody that thinks we're gonna go eat this turkey later, I'm not eating my boy Blue. I love him, he's awesome, he's beautiful. Beautiful big turkey, he's great. Till next time, love you, later. TylenolandTattoos.com for all your merch. Follow dreams, most importantly. Don't give up, work hard. See y'all in the next one, peace out.